Right, hello everyone. In this video, let's continue on problem number 3. When a hydrocarbon such as ethylene burns completely in oxygen, the products are carbon dioxide and water. Calculate the liters of air required to burn completely 15 liters of ethylene gas. This is an ethylene gas, C2H4, measured at STP. Assume that air contains 21% of oxygen by volume. So, 21% of oxygen by volume. So, let's make a reaction first. Again, this is a problem number three. So, first we need to write the reaction, which is C2H4 or the acetyl uh, ethylene gas, which is burned completely into the air. The products are carbon dioxide here and water. So these are the products. Okay. So C2H4 plus oxygen here, oxygen gas. Oxygen gas reacts to the products are carbon dioxide and water. So carbon dioxide and water. So it's not completely balanced yet. You need to balance first. So let's write a two moles of carbon dioxide here and two moles of water and three moles of oxygen. Okay. This is a combustion reaction. Again. So from two here, you write a two here. Four hydrogen here. So you write a coefficient two. So two times two is four. So two times two is equal to four plus four uh, plus two, which is six. Six divided two, which is three. Okay. So it's completely balanced. And then, the given is we have a volume here of 15 liters of ethylene. Here. 15 liters of ethylene. So we have, and we have 21% uh, of oxygen by volume. So we need to write a ratio first. So from 21% by volume, so 21 liters of oxygen gas is equals to 100 liters of air. And then the volume here, which is 15 liters again. So the volume of uh, volume of C2H4 is equals to 15 liters. So that's already given. And then we need to find the the volume of air. So calculate the liters of air here. So that's a question. The unknown is volume of air. And then we need to solve it. So in the solution we have volume of air. You need to start volume of air. So it goes to fifty liters of C2H4, which is 15 liters C2H4 times the ratio, which is 1 liter of air, uh, 1 liter of 1 liter of ethylene gas times 3 liters of oxygen gas. Where did I get at this one? So one here is this one mole here. So in three mole three moles which is three liters. So three liters of oxygen gas. One here, so one liter here. So three here, three liter here. Okay. Times the ratio which is this. So divided by twenty one liter of twenty one liter of air 
uh, oxygen gas times 100 liters of air. Okay, let's cancel out again. Cancel out the liters of ethylene and in the liters of oxygen gas. So we have a volume of air here. It's equals to 15 times 3 times 100 divided by 21 is equals to 214.28. 214.28 liters of air. Okay, this is your final answer. Did you get it? So, how about in problem number four? So, in problem number four here, how many liters of air measured at 98? five kilopascal. So we have a pressure here and 100 degrees Celsius which is temperature are required to produce 200 liters of carbon dioxide measured at the same pressure at 20 degrees Celsius. So this is your temperature 1 and temperature 2. Assume that air contains contains 21% of oxygen by volume and that the carbon dioxide is being produced from carbon monoxide. So, first step is we need to write the reaction first. So, this is problem number four. Carbon monoxide. So, we need to create a reaction and burn with oxygen gas. So, carbon monoxide plus oxygen gas reacts to carbon dioxide okay carbon dioxide is being produced from carbon monoxide so it is right okay so that's the reaction but this is not balanced yet complete so we need to put here a coefficient of 2 here and Two here okay so it's completely balanced okay so we have a uh, one liters of oxygen gas from here equals to two liters of carbon dioxide and we have a 21% by volume here here 21% oxygen by volume. So, 21% converts to liter. 21 liters of oxygen is equals to 100 liters of air. And then, we have a T1 here. Temperature 1, which is 20 degrees Celsius. 20 degrees Celsius. Okay? And then, we have a temperature 2 here, which is 100 degrees Celsius. So, 100 degrees Celsius. So, this problem involves that the volumes will increase. So, the volume is increased. Volume increase. So, the ratio of temperature is equals to T, uh, T2 over T1. So, it means... 20 dig uh, 100 divided by 20 so 100 degrees Celsius over two uh, over 20 degrees Celsius so from T1 let's add a uh, Kelvin so from T1 here 20 20 degrees plus 273 Kelvin is equals to uh, 290 degrees uh, Kelvin Temperature 2 is equals to 100 degrees Celsius plus 273 Kelvin is equals to 373 Kelvin. So that's the ratio again. So let's start now to solve. Uh, we have a volume here again. 
the volume is 200 liters of carbon dioxide so there are a volume of carbon dioxide here which is 200 liters so 200 liters of carbon dioxide so we need to solve the volume of air again the unknown is volume of air the question is how many liters of air again measured at 98.5 kilopascal so the pressure is remains a constant here so the pressure will be not allowed here solution so the volume of air is equals to we have about 200 liters of carbon dioxide here 200 liters of carbon dioxide times the ratio which is 2 liters of carbon dioxide here I forgot to write a letter 2 liters of carbon dioxide and 1 liters of carbon dioxide or you can get here in the reaction so 2 liters of carbon dioxide and then 1 liters of oxygen here or here you can get here in the reaction we have a 1 liters of oxygen gas times the ratio again the ratio of here of oxygen gas and air we have 21 liters of oxygen gas times 100 liters of air times the ratio which is from T2 over T1 which is 100 divided by 20 or 373 over 293 so we have 373 here over 293 so, okay. you need to cancel letters here letters letters and the left is the liters of air and the cancel is Kilbin. So, volume of air is equals to so 200 times 1 over 2 times 100 over 21 times 373 over 293. So, it's equals to 606.20. 606.20 liters of air so that is your final answer and that's all please like and subscribe